A few years ago, we sold a couple of fingerprint scanners from ADH Tech. Now, they've gotten a slick update, and we've got two versions for you. The scanner uses an optical sensor with a 258 by 202 resolution to take a picture of your fingerprint and an ARM Cortex-M3 to analyze it. It can be powered with 3.3 to 6 volts, but note that it uses 3.3 volt logic over UART to communicate. By default, the UART speed is set to 9600 bits per second. I mentioned that there were two different versions. Both look and function exactly the same. However, the GT521F32 can store up to 200 fingerprints, whereas the GT521F52 can store up to 3,000 fingerprints. You'll need to connect a 4-pin JST-SH connector to break out the lines on the fingerprint scanner. SparkFun's quick cables will work as well, just note that the colors don't quite line up with voltage ground and data lines. If you're connecting it to a part with 5 volt logic, you'll need to use a level shifter to get it down to 3.3 volts. The scanner is capable of identifying one fingerprint out of many, as well as determining if a fingerprint is in its catalog at all. To show you this in action, I've put together a quick demo. I first need to run the enrollment Arduino program to train the scanner with my fingerprint. Note that the scanner has its own memory, so even if I move it to another microcontroller or computer, it still retains its database of fingerprints. Now, I've got a message that tells me to test my fingerprint. If I give it the correct fingerprint, it identifies me as the user and displays a nice, warm welcome message. If someone else tries to enter, well, it's not very nice. The fingerprint scanner is a great way to start learning about biometrics. You can lock up your house or valuables using your fingerprint, or maybe you want to identify a user and dispense their favorite beverage. Either way, the scanner's a lot of fun to play around with. Happy hacking.